Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the AMB sneaker bot. This is a relatively new Nike bot and I don't know how well it will do since they only went public a few weeks ago. Uh, I want to make this video to show you guys how to use it visually. Of course, you can read through the Discord or Google Docs, but I think seeing it visually helps people more and helps people who are lazy to read through it. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is sneaker has uh, three method or ways of releasing an item. They are named Flo, Leo, and Dan. Flo is basically a first come first serve without any queue. Leo is a uh, two to three minute queue. And Dan is a draw. Usually for hype items, Nike will give you about 10 minutes to uh, enter the draw. So within that 10 minute, uh, try to get as many account in as possible for a higher chance of copping it. But with the amount of bots and people that are going for it, this is usually an L. I personally haven't hit on Nike Dan in a long, long time. Okay, so first we have to put in our billing before anything. Uh, so we go to billing, profile. Uh, now I already have all my billings in, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm just going to fill everything in just to show you guys. Now, when you are doing it, make sure you put in your real information because this bot won't allow you to save fake info. Uh, it will return and give an error credit card number. So profile name can be anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to use tree here as an example. And your email is basically your email. I'm just going to put apple at gmail.com. And uh, use sneaker task email. Basically, if this box is checked, it will override your email that, that's right here and uh, use the email that's associated with your uh, sneaker account. So an example would be if your email in this profile is apple at gmail.com and your sneaker task email is banana at gmail.com, it will use the sneaker task email, which is banana at gmail.com. You will have to log in to that account, the banana at gmail.com, to see all your confirmation or orders. I recommend always checking this box uh, because if you happen to cop a lot and all confirmation is going into your regular email, um, you're risking getting your order canceled or banned. And the rest is easy. It's just your uh, payment and your shipping address and everything. You can also use a little trick where you can make your email a catch-all email. So any order confirmation will go into that email. All you do is type your regular email and uh, add a plus percent num5 percent and your domain. So for this example, uh, it would be apple plus percent num and um 5% at gmail.com this would be much safer than just putting uh, apple at gmail.com but uh, having the sneaker task email tick is still the safest way and most recommended uh, it will override whatever you put over here the email section you can also use the percent first name percent and uh, percent last name percent to generate a random first and last name uh, in your CC name or your uh, shipping address uh, name. If you do that, make sure you're around when the package ships to you because if you missed it and you can only go and pick it up, you might not be able to because it doesn't match your name. So uh, just take that into account. You can also do the percent char3% to generate three random letters in your address. Uh, I would recommend you do this in order to be more safe and can get more because the system will recognize that as a uh, different address, sort of like an address jig. So this example, I have 123 Apple Sheet. Uh, I would put that after the 123 like this. Uh, percent char3% then for the phone number, you can also generate a random number. Uh, just put in your area code and do a percent num 7%. So here it would be uh, 347 percent percent uh, num 7 percent. And uh, if you want your billing same as shipping, you just tick this box and then you just hit save when you're done. 
Uh, you could also clone it and uh, edit some other information so you don't have to retype all of this again or uh, do a new one or delete it. But that's pretty much it for the billings. Then we have proxies. All you do here is just input your proxy and uh, select which site you want your proxy to work on. Uh, you could do all or you can select specific region on either web or sneakers or both. Uh, when you're finished doing that, you just click save and uh, it should save your uh, proxy list on the left side. You will also have to make sure your proxies are enabled uh, before you run your tests. So to enable or disable, you just click your proxy list and uh, tick uh, the enable or disable box. Uh, you can tell if your proxy list is enabled or not just by looking at the proxy list on the left side. Uh, there will be a letter E next to uh, your proxy list if that proxy is enabled. So if you disable it, uh, there won't be any letter next to it. Uh, when you're done, you could just close the proxy window. Oh, and an important note about what proxy you should use. Uh, there are two kinds of proxies, data center and residential. Data center has two types as well, static IP and dynamic IP. Static is uh, basically IP that won't change and will stay the same. Uh, while dynamic is when the IP changes every so seconds. Uh, residential has two type as well. It's the sticky IP and the rotating IP. Sticky IP is when IP don't change like static IP for data center. And rotating IP is when IP changes like dynamic IP for data center. The difference between the data center and residential proxy is the data center proxy is uh, faster in terms of speed, but more likely to get banned and residential is slower, but more unlikely to get banned. For Nike, I recommend residential because most data center proxy are already banned from Nike. So better to be safe than sorry. You can use either sticky or rotating. It don't really matter in my honest opinion, but I was told sticky would be better probably because of the Leo two to three minute queue. And try to have a one to one ratio. What this means is if you are using a 50 proxy, try to only use 50 tasks. Do not have more tasks than your proxy. Uh, if you have more proxy than your tasks, uh, that would be the way to go. But uh, using residential proxy would be your best bet. All right, that's basically all you need in order to make a task and run it. But uh, I'll just briefly show you these options over here. The tool option has a proxy tester and a account checker. A proxy tester is basically just testing your proxy to see if it's good. Uh, you could just choose your proxy list on the left side and click add from list and then just click start checker. Um, it might take some time if you are using residential proxy because the speed is much slower. And also note, even if it says working, Nike has other level of ban system. So your proxy can still be banned, but it won't show until the release time of the item. Yes, that sucks. But for me, I don't really have these level of bans because I rarely hit on Nike. It's usually people who uh, hit a shit ton that get their account and proxy banned. So you can close this and uh, go to the account checker. You can uh, manually enter your uh, account information here, but if you have a lot of accounts, uh, it wouldn't be convenient. So there's actually an import account uh, option here where you can import all your accounts automatically. Uh, it needs to be in this format and in text file. So uh, notepad works. So you import it and choose your region and uh, click start checker. And uh, it should check if your account ha uh, is verified or have any exclusive access, etc. But uh, it can take a while since it's slow. The bot is pretty buggy, so sometimes this doesn't work. Uh, you might have to wait until they fix it. So you can close this and the help is just basically you could deactivate or check for updates. Okay, now we can make a task by either clicking create new or the sneaker calendar. But uh, first, I'll show you create new. In here, you can make a web store task or a sneaker task and select uh, a region. But um, since this bot is uh, pretty new and is uh, they are still working on adding more region here, uh, it might not have your region here. Like for US, uh, there's no US region in the web store task as of yet. 
So um, the web store tab is basically like the regular Nike.com site and not sneakers. But most hype items are usually released through sneakers. So uh, I'll be showing you how to do sneaker in this video. So here we enter the style ID of the shoe. Uh, if you do not know the style ID of the shoe, you could just uh, click the sneaker calendar in the main menu. So like over here, you just click sneaker calendar, choose your region, and uh, it will show a sneaker calendar with the date, the name, and the uh, time of release, uh, along with the method of release. So for this example, let's just choose something in the future, double click it, and it will bring you back to this window with the style ID already filled. And you could either click random for random sizing or uh, specific for specific sizing. Then you can just import all your accounts over here. So I just made a bunch of fake accounts just to show you guys. Uh, the next step would be to choose a billing. And uh, if you leave the account to one, it will pull up the first account to your main bot with that billing. So uh, if I click create task, it will do that. If you want a specific billing, let's say for the next two tasks, you just click a billing and uh, you change the account type to two. So it will just take the first two account with that specific billing. So if I click create a uh, task, it will do that. Uh, but if you don't care, you could just tick the all and uh, change the account type to how many accounts you have or more. So let's say if I have 200 account here, uh, the account type would be uh, 200 or more. So I could just put 300 and create the task and close it or just create and close. Then you can start all, stop all, delete all, or do the select one for some tasks. Uh, you could also clone the task to make copy of it. Uh, or you could change the billing for certain tasks that you want to change. Uh, there's also a manual checkout, but this option, you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's only for uh, the web store task. So sneaker, you don't really use this option. Okay, so I changed my real account just to show you guys how it should look when running it. I only have one task for this example because I don't want to waste a lot of my proxy data. Now, some really important note you must account for is that this bot, you must run really, really early before the release time or else you will take an L. I mean, hours and hours before. Even though the admin told us to run two hours before the release, I had a feeling it won't be logged in on time. So uh, I had around 200-ish accounts and ran six hours before the release time. And not all of my accounts were logged in and ready to go by the release time. But the downside to running early is it will eat up a lot of your proxy data. I've used up 2 GB for one release by running six hours early. You can also run a certain number of tasks in increments of uh, 15 to 30 minutes if you have a lot of tasks and let most of those be logged in and ready to go before running the next batch. Another thing is if there are two shoes that you want to go for that are dropping at the same time, it might be a bit difficult because I don't think you can use the same account to go for both in this bot. And running with a lot of account already slows down your PC unless you have a huge RAM and CPU. So if you want to go for two shoes, try to split the style ID of the shoe between all your accounts. All right, so you click start all and you should get a light yellow color and then a solid yellow color eventually turning into a light green color. You want all your tasks to be at the green color, which means your task is ready to go and uh, this process might take some time to get there. So all you have to do is wait. When your task is at the green color, it means you have done it correctly. Don't do anything to the task or bot because you don't want to have to wait all over again. And trust me, it is a long wait. There you have it. That's how you use AMB sneaker bot. You want all your accounts to be green. Uh, when it's at the green, it will wait until the release time and uh, try to cop the shoe. And if you are successful, it should return a uh, purple color. Before I end this video, I forgot to mention two things. One is if you want to go for shoes in different regions, uh, try to use different set of accounts only for that region to avoid a uh, possible ban. And two, if you are getting error for a long time and it will not turn green whatsoever, uh, go ahead and install this program called uh, IIS Crypto. Uh, you just click it, open it, and uh, over here you click best practice. After that, you click this uh, little lock icon and this little check mark right here. Once you finish doing that, you click apply 
OK, you can close the window and restart your computer and uh, come back to the bot and it should work. So that's all you need to know in order to run AMB sneaker bot. I hope this video was helpful and good luck copying whatever you're going for. And of course, I'll be leaving my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord in the description below if you guys still need any help. Thanks for watching.